Bro, MCS with their traps have been spot on today. What is he doing? He just triple dropped an invis. He triple dropped his invis and then drops the rage late. And then all the super wizards go poof. Today, we got the semifinals of the WHF Invitational where MCS and alternate attacks are going head to head to see who's gonna make it to the grand finals and boom, going in with the blizzard, Lalo, his blimp just barely dodged that tornado. Holy crap, that was close. Blizzard gonna be able to take out the town hall, gonna get the inferno tower behind, gonna get several other buildings and pull the CZ. Nice start here for boom. Now guys, this is a best of two match. So we're gonna be able to get to see two back-to-back -back matches of MCS versus alternate attacks. Gonna be very high quality matches to watch here. But let's see what Boom can do here. Queen easily kills that Lava Hound with the help of the Poison Spell. We're gonna wall break, we're gonna send King in with the Queen. Some of this Tesla farm might be hitting her, which is gonna make things a little bit awkward. She can't reach that second Tesla or the third one just yet, but luckily she's gonna get out of range. That poor Unicorn's taking a beating now. Ooh. Unicorn might die early. Oh, never mind. Queen's gonna go help out. We got another wall breaker to give Queen access to the scatter, but we're also gonna send the Royal Champion to go get that scatter, just in case the Queen isn't able to get it. We wanna get all this Sui value here in the core. It'd be cash money if they can get both scatters, bro. He pops the Invis. Queen still had to pop her ability anyway. She might die through the ability with the splash of the scatter on the bottom. Ooh, she's so low. The Eagle wakes up. We're gonna freeze. We're gonna start the Lalo from the right side of the base. RC pops her ability. She doesn't kill the enemy RC. They don't get the scatter. The multi stays up. We're gonna pop this warden ability early. The headhunters absolutely roast that enemy RC. She was at one HP anyway. We got two loons that might sneak their way into that multi. Not sure if they'll be able to take it down. There's gonna be traps. Hello, red bomb. Hello, sinking air mine. We're gonna freeze the left multi. All of our loons skip the right multi. Oh, they take a beating from the eagle and the traps. Kingsman from MCES with the OP base building. Ooh, boom, not going to be able to get it done here to start off this match. And it's going to be a massive defense, dude, because it's going to be for these two types of teams. This is going to be really low percent. Anything below 90 is low percent for these guys. This one's going to be falling short around the 80% mark, if even we even get that far. That eagle still awake, still shooting his minions and pups. These minions on the bottom side are going to get down that pet shop. Now they're going to come over here, work on the gold storage, but they're going to get hit pretty hard by that eagle. This minion on the left is distracted by skelly traps, which is going to give the eagle enough time to kill both minions. So he's just going to manually end it. Okay. At 78. Cynthia is in with the first attack for MCES. Bring us the mass hog attack. Ooh, baby. All right. He's not doing a skelly donut either. Interesting. He's just going to go straight in with the Sui, with the wall wrecker from the top side of the base. Take out the town hall nice and early, and then just hog around the base with four heals and however many freezes he has left over after the Sui. King goes in. Wall Wrecker goes in. First Ice Golem pops. He only brought one Ice Golem. No, he has two. No, he just has a bunch more in his Wall Wrecker. Okay. Okay. King and Queen take down the Town Hall. Queen locks on to the Lava Dao. Now the King's going to have to take down the Ice Golem. Town Hall dropped. Hopefully they can take down some of these Builder Huts, Sweeper, and Expo that was behind the Town Hall in order to cut the ring for the Hogs. It'd also be good to start the Hogs early because then there's a chance to keep that Queen alive. And that's exactly what he does. It's like he could hear me. He might be watching the stream. Rip. Nah, there's a delay anyway. Headhunters, early warden ability. Down goes the enemy king. I mean the queen. Tornado trap's gonna spin our bacon round in circles in the frying pan of death as the multi heats up. Trying to cook them all up. Queen cut off the ring, which is nice. We're gonna heal going into the eagle. We're gonna freeze the eagle in the cannon. Where's our royal champion? She's on the left side with the hogs. We're gonna heal again over there. The small section of hogs in the middle took out the multi. This is looking cash money, dude. We can freeze. 
and we can poison the royal champion. We still got a unicorn alive that was with the queen. It's gonna switch over to our warden. That's a, that's LOL. A little extra bonus HP right there. Down goes the royal champion with the last few headhunters that we sneak in. He doesn't have any more heals. We go straight to a bomb tower and a scatter shot on the back end, which is looking very yikes, dude. Lots of bacon on the board. Ooh, must be breakfast time. Down go all those piggies, but we got the RC with her ability, with the Warden, and the Lassie, and a Freeze, and a Unicorn, and an Owl. Oh my goodness, the pets are just gonna be able to steamroll the back end of this base. Hopefully, the Skelly Trap is distracting them though. We pop that RC ability, down goes the Scatter, down goes the Cannon, the Builder Hut, and the Archer Tower behind. He's got it. Plenty of cleanup on the board. A minute to go, wow. Nicely done from Synthi. Honestly, the Hog deployment was just perfect. I mean, he got the perfect split. He only had like six or seven go to the core, which is all he needed to take out the multi. The rest wrapped around the ring and the Royal Champion just never died. Perfect hog execution from Synthi to absolutely demolish Mask's base and MCS with an early lead here in match number one, three stars to two. Ast is in with the second attack for ATN. They gotta start three starring if they wanna keep up with MCS. He's going in with a couple rocket balloons for the bomb tower, okay. Down goes the bomb tower. That way we can blizz straight over that. Oh, but there's a tornado. Bro, MCS with their traps have been spot on today. What is he doing? He just triple dropped an invis. Oh my gosh, ATN are throwing today. Bro. He triple dropped his invis and then drops the rage late and then all the super wizards go poof. Oh no. We send the queen from 1030. The town hall is still awake and alive. Important to note. We're gonna send the royal champion for the town hall. The builders are repairing it back up to full health. We're gonna wall break the queen on the top side. We send the king to tank for her but after she's already dead. Almost, we gotta freeze just to keep her alive. RC pops her ability. Last invis for the RC just to get the town hall. Second wall breaker is not gonna really get any value because our queen took way too much damage early. RC, does she get it? Oh! The town hall's up. He's gotta haste some loons. Bro, rip ass from ATN, dude. Holy crap. King and queen are still alive on the top side. Finally, the town hall goes down. It costs us more loons and a haste though. Jeez, it's gonna be rough. This is gonna be really rough. Queen's gonna go down. She's gonna get absolutely clashed by those Expos. And we just start the Lalo from the bottom side of the base. At this point, just trying to recover as much percent as we can. Remember, this semifinal is a best of two. So every percentage point in match number one also has an effect into match number two. So they gotta just keep trying to get as much percent as they can. They cannot just give up early. He's got the Lalo pushing into the course. Double scatter shot setup is gonna absolutely melt them though. Already dropped all of his cleanup. He's got an archer at three, he's got minions at nine, minions at six. Warden and Owl in the core are gonna end up dying soon as the Eagle doesn't target them. What? Eagle targets pups instead, okay, okay. Not sure what's going on with ATN today though. They must be sleepy. Warden and Owl are gonna snipe the Eagle. Minions on the right side are gonna get the barracks, then they're gonna get toasted by the multi. Down goes the Eagle, and we're gonna be falling short at about 78% here as the Archer grabs the last building on the right side. Then, oh, does she have time to get the barracks? I don't think so. Warden's stuck on the King, but he's not gonna be able to finish him off in time, LOL, as he just got way too much HP. Archer on the right side of the base. I lied, bro. That Warden's got the magical touch. Oh, he does finish him off with three seconds to spare. Nicely done from the Warden. Can he get the Bomb Tower too? No, we run out of time. And it's a 78% for ATN. King Tonio is in with the next attack for MCES. Coming in with a little, uh, what is it? The Skybird action. Is it going to be with an early Blizzard though? Or the Town Hall? Yes. There's a bomb tower there, though. We do have the quake, but I think he dropped the quake late. Ooh, no, he's okay. He's okay. The quake was good timing because he's only got three super wizards in his CC, I think. He went with a safe blizz, taking a bunch of small troops and three super wizards. They get the town hall. They get the expo. They get a partial CC pool and then they die. Is that the full CC pool? Two super minions. 
We got a bunch of gobs as well. That that might not be the full pool. It's hard to tell. I don't know if the super wizards actually killed some of the troops or not. Anyway, we're going to pull the goblins to 6 o'clock. We're going to start the sky bridge right here from the bottom left side of the base. We're going to have king and queen wrap around the right side. And then we'll be able to deploy the royal champion at some point later in the future. Instead of an early rage, he's going to go with an early heal. The quake at the beginning of the attack was to help kill the bomb tower with the splash damage of the blimp. If you don't do that, the bomb tower stays up at like 1 HP and then the super wizards can die to it. That's why he brings the quake. King and Queen are going to walk inside the Eagle Artillery compartment thanks to that first wall break. The Warden ability doesn't catch the Dragon Rider on the left, but luckily we get through the multi just in time. King and Queen wrap around the right side. Baby Dragon to help assist over at three. We still have another Rage to drop and some freezes to help these Dragons and Dragon Riders push through the core. King and Queen are doing great. They're both still alive. We're going to have to deploy the Royal Champion at some point soon. We freeze up the Queen and the Sweeper on the left side of the base, but we're all out of spells which means the royal champion is gonna have to go in nice and naked without any spells we drop her from nine or do we drop her from 12 he's gonna go from 12 to help assist the king and queen i guess well the king and queen are close to being dead queen's being useless as usual beaten on walls in the middle of the base we're gonna have to pop that rc ability early it's not looking that great for king tonio down goes the last dragon rider down goes the warden down goes the owl the rc already popped her ability she barely gets through the multi she's gonna end up dying in the next compartment but don't fear the queen is here in the middle of the base we need that wall breaker screen for the queen the wall breaker screen bro lex go back to school dude what the heck queen's gonna end up beating on another wall as usual she's gonna die uh to the scatter shot and we're going to end up falling short here as the king dies on the top side of the base. But we got some archers over at 9 o'clock. They do have enough time to grab a couple more buildings. But we're looking at about an 84% attack here. Which means ATN still have a chance to come back in match number one here. But we'll have to wait and see what they can do with their next few attacks. As they got to start stepping it up. He ends the attack there at 84%. Yo-Yo23 is in with the next attack for ATN. And they really need to start three starring. Let's see if Yo Yo can get it done. He's going in with a little Pee Wee Wee action with an early Warden Walk. Looks like he wants to take out the Scatter Shot with the Warden Walk. And then I think he's going to be going in with a ballsy Log Launcher from the opposite side of the base strategery here. I call it ballsy because it's, it's it has slight risk to it. You're ending on the Town Hall and you don't have a blimp to be safe and secure for the town hall. But let's see, as long as he executes it correctly, it could be pretty crushing attack. We're gonna rage up that warden. He steps up for the scatter shot. Down it goes, they go for the builder hut next, I believe. Do we give him enough time to grab the expo or do we just start right away as soon as the builder hut's dead? We're gonna start right away. He's gonna snipe the cannon as well though. Which is on the bottom side. Here goes the king, here goes the queen. Peckers inside the middle of the base. A couple more healers have been deployed. Where are the super wizards? He's forgetting. Okay, there go the Super Wizards. Log Launcher from like 7 o'clock to go through the cannon. Okay. Hopefully that Log Launcher doesn't get targeted by the Archer Tower. Okay, we're looking okay. The funnel has been established. The Peckers are going around the wrong side, kind of. I don't know. This is a little, looking a little wonky here. We need everybody to make their way into the core or else it could be bad news bears. He pops a Warden ability. He sends the Royal Champion from 9 o'clock. So he has no safety net. For the town hall his main push has to get there or it's bad news bears the peckers make their way back into the middle we're gonna rage up healers are looking good king's looking good peckers still alive yeti's from the log launcher queen's still alive so he's looking decent we're gonna freeze up the town hall royal champion at full health making her way up there as well this is looking good for yo yo 23 the peckers and the queen are not going for the town hall but the king and the royal champion do so we're gonna rage them up over there down goes the town hall that's beautiful can we secure the third star though Queen and Warden and Yeti's over here on the right side of the base. We're going to lose our last healer, but he's got this. Right? Unless I jinx it. And he's got a minute to go. He's got Witches and a Pecker on the outside. Royal Champion might die. Actually, she might just barely stay alive. It doesn't matter. The Queen and Warden can easily finish off the rest of the base. The Royal Champion stays alive as well. She's going to help with cleanup. And with 40 plus seconds to spare, Yo-Yo 23 absolutely demolishing tryhard's base and just like that putting a little bit of pressure back on the mcs because atn are back in this match tryhard is in with the third attack for mcs they need a three star to maintain their lead and he get it done he's going in with the skybird attack with five lightnings 
one earthquake. Tells me we're gonna be zapping away probably an inferno tower. Which one does he pick? Maybe the one behind the town hall? Then we can blimp the town hall nice and early? Let's see if I'm right. No? Well, maybe. We'll see. He starts off with the king on the bottom side with the yak. Queen in behind to help support. We do have a wall breaker, but he's not deploying it. He's gonna let the yak and the king just beat through the wall. He's gonna use the wall breaker for the queen. Okay, I like this. We're doing a split suey. The queen's gonna help assist the king in his suey. Hello, double giant bomb on our queen, but luckily the unicorn's actually gonna get her back up to full health. So those giant bombs end up being useless. Ice golem in front of the queen. Gonna pop and freeze those two defense on the right. He should have popped the king ability. That scatter shot's hitting the queen pretty hard. He wants the queen to take out the multi. He zapped and earthquaked the multi up at 10.30, by the way. I was zoomed in a little bit. Can the queen take out this multi? She already had to pop her ability. She's not going for it just yet. She takes out the archer tower. <sighs> We're gonna make her invisible. We really want that multi. Down it goes. We still have the RC to deploy, remember. He's gonna pull the lava hound and the headhunters to nine o'clock. The king or his barbarians or something pulled out those CC troops. We're going to start with a dragon on the headhunters. Ooh, then we're going to... Oh, rip. He tried to have the RC solo the, the hound in the corner of the base, but the unicorn was still alive and pulled the hound back in. Now the RC gets dragged into the scattershot compartment. Ooh, and she's just stuck on a hound. This is a big yikes, dude. She's going to pop the hound and die at the same time. That's like worst case scenario. Yikes. We got the poison spill. He doesn't want to use it. For some reason. There he goes. Finally drops it. Scatter shot still up. The RC got about zero value. We're going to send the Skybird in from this bottom left side of the base. We're going to have to blimp the town hall. It's going to be a little scary of a blimp as we have to go across the base. And we haven't found the tornado trap yet. <sighs> uh, these type of blimps always scare me. He's going to pop this warden ability in the core. Oh my gosh. He missed the blimp with the warden ability. This looks like my legends attacks last night. Please don't be trapped. Please don't be trapped. Oh, wow, Vale, how do you not trap that blimp? It could have been a one star. The tornado's on the other side. Oh, dang it. Down goes the town hall. I mean, that's looking good for MCS. He's got a minion over here on the right. Dragons all across the top side of the base. Bro, this might still be a three star. This might still be a three star. Hold on, he's got a ton of dragons, but no time as I just noticed. Only 33 seconds to go. He took way too long with the Sui. Oh, man. Try hard. One, two, three, four. What is that? Five dragons still up? Four now? With the air defense still up, uh, maybe he wouldn't have had enough firepower to get through it. It's going to be close, though. It's going to be close. Above 90%, I think, if time allows. Down goes that archer tower. All the dragons are clumping up, which means we're only getting like one building every five seconds. We are going to be able to hit that 90% mark, though. And as time runs out, we fall short right at 90%. And it's all tied up on stars. But percent is in favor of MCS. 54.8 to 51.2. Mask is in with the fourth attack for ATN. Coming in with a little queen charge hog rider action. This attack isn't really meta. And for good reason. It only takes one mistake. And this attack often gets very low percent but if you execute it perfectly it can do amazing things and let's see what mask is going to do here against Cynthia's base he's just going to queen charge directly into that town hall chamber doesn't use a coco loon even though he has two of them so he loses a healer right away the queen is going awry and this is what i was talking about oof when things go wrong on a queen charge hog attack it is hard to recover but let's see what he can do Queen is not going for the town hall like he wanted her to. We're going to drop King on the outside of the base. We don't have any more wall breakers to get him inside. So he's probably just going to walk in around that 6 o'clock section. Queen should go back in for the town hall. I think he already lost two healers because he just didn't use the Coco Loons at an appropriate time. We're going to have to freeze up the town hall. Finally, a Coco Loon finds a Seeking Air Mine. So we're going to be able to keep the three healers that we got. We freeze that town hall. He doesn't want to rage the Queen. So we're going to lose another two healers. Bro! What are you doing? No. Queen dies through her ability because he was being way too greedy with those rages. Bro, what is going on with both these teams today? And he pops the warden ability for the king? Hello? 
He's getting the spinny wheel. Oh, don't tell me he threw his iPad out the window and rage quit. <sighs> what is he doing? What is he doing? He's losing connection. There's a minute and a half left on the board. The builder is doing the salsa over there, bro. <laughs> what is he doing? That looks funny. We still got a minute and a half. We got an RC to use. We got a stone slammer. We got 27 hogs. We got lots and lots of spells. But I don't know. This isn't my Wi-Fi, bro. The stream's still going strong. This is his Wi-Fi. Hello, mask. I guess we just got to sit here and make googly eyes at each other. See if anything happens. I'm not sure why he dropped the warden with the king and popped the ability. Maybe there's a headhunter in there? There's got to be. You guys? Yeah, I see a headhunter right underneath the hound. We're back! Yes! He plugged in his iFi, his wi- his hi-fi, his Wi-Fi. That doesn't- this still doesn't make any sense, bro. Let's see what he can do. Minute and 20 left on the board. He sends the Royal Champion from the right side of the base, so it wasn't a disconnect. That was weird. It's like he took a pause, dude, a calculated pause for a full-on 45 seconds so we could think about what he wants to do with these hogs. LOL. They go straight into a giant bomb. We're going to rage up the hogs. We're going to heal the hogs. See how much percent we can get. The Lava Hound and the CC, our Road Chamber is going to get distracted by that. She's going to die. The hogs get like a solid five buildings before they turn into bacon. But we got more hogs from the top side. Sprinkle them around so we can get as much percent as possible. But this is looking like a big yikes for Mask, bro. We're going to rage up the hogs again. We got the invisibility spell. Use it. Use it. Make the bacon invisible. Yes. One hog, but he makes the scatter invisible. Oh no, what a bad invis placement. <laughs> Yikes, we're at 69% pog, you should have quit out there. Instead, we're gonna get about 71 as our last two wizards die. Nice try to mask, but this is exactly why I said Queen Charge Hogs is not a meta attack. One thing goes wrong and you often get very low percent. Mm. Let's see what MCS can do with their next attack. Kingsman bringing us the next attack for MCS with a little Queen Charge Dragon Rider action. <sighs> That's a lot of words. Can we just shorten it to like Queen Charge Rider? I think we might start calling it Queen Charge Rider if everybody's okay with that. Early blimp from 9 o'clock. It's going to be a Yeti bomb, I think. Yep, Yetis with the Rage. Take out the multi. Take out the Royal Champion. They might damage the King as well. There's no Skelly Trap there to distract the Yetis. So they damage the King a little bit. They don't get a CC pool though, which is... A little unfortunate. Healer's on the queen. She takes out the bomb tower. Oh, sir. The invis instead of the funnel troops. Fancy. Okay. We're going to freeze up the town hall. That warden tower is on one HP. Only queen could have sniped that before she switched targets to the CC troops. She's taking a heck of a lot of damage, bro. Going to have to pop her ability, I think. Oh, yes, we do. Down goes the warden tower. Down go the super minions. King on the top side. Second wall breaker is being absolutely useless. Target's an empty compartment. Third wall breaker. Oh, target's the wrong wall. It's not going to help Queen whatsoever. That's a big yikes. King goes inside at 12 o'clock. Hopefully he can at least take out the air defense. He should. Queen's going to end up fighting the enemy King. She'll be able to finish him off. LOL. Down he goes. We send some rocket balloons from the top side straight into his seeking air mine. Queen's going to go back up toward the top right. we got to rage her up again, try and get some more value out of her. But she cannot reach the multi. She cannot reach the single, but she's going to do us a favor for the defense. For the defenser? For the defender. Get in range of the single target in front of the tower. Oh, and then he drops a freeze anyway when she's already dead. Bro, both these teams are just sleepy today. I don't know. We send the Dragon Riders from the top right side of the base early as Heck Warden ability with the Headhunters melt through the enemy queen. we got the Royal Champion alive. The multi in the core melts our healers. Road Champion is doing her best to try and get the air defense on the right and the test of the farm, but the multi stays up. The Dragon Riders are getting clashed. It's going to be another fail for MCS. Today is just a battle of the defenses, man. Holy crap, nobody's getting triples today. RC takes out the cannon. The Skelly Trap pops, going to distract. We got one more Dragon Rider to go. Warden thinks he's a golem as usual. I'm gonna tank the air defense. I guess that would make him a lava hound today. Dragon Rider finds a seeking air mine. Down he goes. Down the owl goes. And it's gonna be another low percent attack in this match. <laughs> and it's still all tied up. At least on stars. After this fourth round of attacks. My goodness gracious. The minions on the right die. We got two more minions in the bag. I don't think we can actually drop them anywhere that's out of range of these archer towers. Or do we? 
Lex, wrong as usual. Gonna be able to snipe an army camp for 83%. And that's gonna be all she wrote for this attack. Bale is in with the final attack for ATN. If he gets a three star and they get another defense, ATN can actually win Master One, even though they're down by a lot on percent. We're going in with little zappy zappy quake action. Knocks out like four defenses next to the town hall. It's gonna be another Skybird attack here. Looks like we're gonna Skybird from the right. We'll just blimp the town hall, I guess. Probably from the bottom side of the base or something wonky. Maybe from the right side with a warden ability. King and Queen, you're gonna be in charge of walking from the outside up toward 12 o'clock. And then we got the Royal Champion for the back end. Nice, simple plan here from Vale. Let's see if it's gonna work. Yeah, he's gonna do the wonky blimp like I thought. Inside the Warden ability. Rage up the dragons and the dragon riders. None of them are targeting the queen yet, which is a little awkward. Finally, one dragon goes in. Targets the queen. Needs a dragon to snipe the headhunters, and they do. Blimp makes it to the town hall. It's looking safe. We got the free spell, just in case. Down goes the town hall. King and queen go in the topside compartment. Some of these other dragons are pathing through the core. The dragon riders snipe that multi in the core. This is looking really decent for Vale. Queen alive at full health with ability. RC in the bag. We got another rage here for the dragon riders and dragons to take out this royal champion. And he still has his royal champion to deploy. Can send her from 9 o'clock to try and keep these dragon riders alive. Nope, he's going to send her from 6 o'clock instead. Interesting choice. It might still work out though. We need to take out that scatter though at least. We got a headhunter working on the scatter. Bro, let's clutch. The scatter's distracted by dragons. RC on the bottom side still has her ability. She's low on HP. You're gonna have to pop her ability any second now. We got a freeze in the bag. We're gonna use it right there for the multi and the air defense on the left side of the base. Keep that dragon and dragon rider alive. He's got it. It's a three star for Vale and for ATN. Putting the pressure onto MCS now. The formula is simple. If MCS triple, they win match number one. If MCS fail with any percent, Alternate attacks are gonna win by a star. So let's see what MCS can do with their final attack. We find the tornado trap at the end. Everybody doing the disco dance to celebrate their victory. And with exactly one minute to spare, it's a three star for Vale. Arium is in with the final attack of the match. All the pressure is on him right now. Triple and MCS win match number one. If he fails, ATN will win match number one. And he decides to go in with the queen charge hybrid. Okay, with an early blimp for the multi-targeting compartment over here. Does this base look familiar to anybody else? I'm not sure if I've seen this before. I feel like I have. But anyway, Yeti Bomb with the Rage to take out the multi. We get the CC pool. We start the queen from the right side of the base. We're not funneling that DE storage. We got the CC pool. Lots of archers. Two super minions as well. I think the Yetis killed a couple of the troops if there were any headhunters in there. We use one wizard to try and funnel over at three o'clock. This queen's taking a lot of damage. We're gonna have to rage up early. I'm not actually sure if he needed that rage. <sighs> well, he needs it now because of the scatter shot. So I guess it works. It works. Queen can deal with the two Teslas. She should go inside the wall break here. There goes another wizard just to help make sure the army camp is down. Coco Loon out in front. Are we just gonna hyper through the town hall? Is that the plan? It might be the plan. Hopefully the plan goes to plan. We got one more wall breaker that we could use for the queen. Looks like he's trying to save it to get her into the eagle compartment though, because he's not wall breaking into the scatter. Queen's gonna have to fight the enemy queen here in just a second, and we're gonna have to use our last and final rage for that. Nope, he's gonna go with a freeze instead. He says he wants to save the rage for later. Okay, that's probably a good idea. Down goes the queen, down goes the bomb tower. She's gonna continue wrapping around the right side. If we drop this wall breaker perfectly, it should be able to open up the junction to give her access to the eagle artillery compartment. We sneak in a headhunter to help her get through the enemy king. The wall break, does it work? I think it does. Bear oh, no it doesn't. Yikes, mm. Queen's gonna have to beat through a wall, which is a little unfortunate. Eagle wakes up and targets the queen, but then it switches to the headhunter, but then switches back to the queen. Did anybody see that, that eagle AI? That was a little wonky, dude. We start the hybrid directly into the town hall chamber with the road champion. Here come the hogs. King on the outside to funnel. Queen is going to be through the wall. That wall's weak, so she get, actually gets through it pretty quickly. She'll take out the eagle. That's nice. We're going to rage through the town hall, pop that warden ability, get everybody through the orange juice of death as quickly as possible. There goes our first heal on the back end. Wow, the rage for the hybrid actually allows us to survive through the giga poison, the warden as well. We're going to freeze up the back end scatter. 
Queen still has her ability. We didn't get anybody in the path to the multi in the core, which is making things a little bit awkward. But as soon as I say that, the Royal Champion is like, I got you, fam. She's going to go take out the core. We got a freeze for the back end scatter. Now we're all out of spells. 30 seconds to go, but RC has her ability. Queen has her ability. It's looking good for Arium. And MCS with the three star, with the queen charge hybrid to secure the win here in match number one on percent. Beautifully done from Arian with all the pressure on the line. Let's check out these stats. It is going to be a victory for MCS 12 to 12, 91.4 to 85.4. But remember, it is a best of two for the semifinals match, which means they play two back to back matches and then we add up the stars and the percent of both matches so anything could happen in the second match.